Hello, LiveWell clients. Welcome to our first ever LiveWell exercise video, okay? So we want to do a little introduction. Uh, basically, what we're going to be doing is 12 exercises. We'll start with a warm-up. We'll do 12 exercises. We're going to have three intensities. Camilla is going to be doing a, a, a lower intensity. Ryan Solberg is going to be doing a moderate intensity. And yours truly, Ryan Otterson, is going to be doing a higher intensity version of the exercises. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? All right, okay, as we start off the warm up, if you could see what I'm seeing right now, you'd be having a good time, yep. So what we're starting off first is some side stepping, just waking up those abductors a little bit. The outside of the lower extremities, moving side to side. You can tell Camilla and Ryan are especially having the best time ever. Okay, now we're going to throw in some butt kickers. Okay, so we're waking up the quadriceps a little bit, bringing your heels to your behinds, trying not to hit anything behind you as you squeeze those shoulder blades, working on a little bit of shoulder retraction, bring the elbows back. You can tell that Camilla has the most coordination out of the three, which isn't surprising. Okay. A little bit of hill taps, okay, so waking up the hamstrings a little bit with a little bit of an arm curl. So making sure with every step, let the heel touch down, getting a little bit of a pull on the back side of your legs. And now we're going to work on a little torso rotation, reaching across the body, okay. Notice some are just keeping their feet stationary while Ryan Solberg in the middle is doing a little rotation of the ankle. So do whatever version works for you. If it hurts, don't do it. The purpose of the warm up is to get your body warmed up, ready to go. Now we're going to do a little bit of a stretch, waking up the lats a little bit, reaching up over and across the body, waking up the shoulders, the outside of the upper back. Getting the body ready to do work. Warming up tissue temperature. And now we're going to roll the shoulders back. Getting the shoulders ready to go. Rolling back, now forwards. Very good. Now we're going to do some swimmers. Doing the backstroke. Arms reaching back. Excellent. Okay, now we're going forwards. Forward stroke. Reaching up, over, and forwards. Okay. Now we're doing uh, <laughs> breaststroke. I was going to think, what is that called? I thought I would say doggy paddle, but <laughs> that wouldn't make sense. Yeah. Okay. Now we're doing the butterfly. Now we're doing the Michael Phelps stroke, going for the gold here. Reaching up, over, and across. Okay, now a little modified squat, so reaching all the way down and coming all the way up. Okay, waking up the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads. Reaching up, over, and above the head. Everything's being engaged right now. We love these compound movements, keeping the arms up above the shoulders. Pressing into the big toes, waking up those calf muscles a little bit. Okay. Very good. Okay. We're ready to go. Okay. Exercise number one. We're going to be working on some shoulder retraction. Okay. So Camille's going to be doing the lowest version where we call these cactus arms. So what she's doing is squeezing her shoulder blades, but she's keeping her arms bent. So if you have shoulder issues, this is a modification that will probably work best for you. Okay, now as we come over to the moderate version that Ryan Solberg's doing, he's doing a straight arm version. I'm going to have him turn around because anytime you do this, you want to make sure that you're squeezing your shoulder blades together while keeping the shoulders down, the neck relaxed. Okay, ideally we want you to do this against the wall because it'll help to maintain that nice upward posture. Ryan Otterson's going to do the same exercise but with some resistance. So right here he's using a band so he's getting more tension on the back side of his shoulders over here. You can either use a flat band like what he's using 
or if you have something else at home, you can do with the tube, with the handles, but he's doing the same thing. Yep, a little bit harder, okay? And then he keeps his arms the shoulder height, but making sure with every pull, he's squeezing the shoulder blades together. Okay, exercise number two. We're doing a lower body exercise that's more quad or top of the thigh dominant. Camilla's doing a straight leg raise. And what she's doing, she's pointing the toe up and trying to make sure that she fires up her hip flexor and her quadriceps. So as she brings the foot up, she's going slow on the way down to really make sure that she engages those quadriceps, okay? And so if you're doing the, just a reminder, if you're doing the lower intensity, you're doing about 15 repetitions. If you're doing the moderate intensity, which Ryan Solberg's gonna do, he's doing a chair sit to stand. You'd be wanting to do um, 10 to 12 repetitions. But there's a couple variations on what Ryan Sober can do right here. One is you can just have his hands on his thighs. Another version is to bring his arms across his chest, okay? But what's nice about doing the chair sit to stand is he's making sure that his hips go back so that he's squatting correctly, and then he's pressing through the middle of his foot or into his heels to make sure that he keeps the tension off his knees and make sure that he's engaging primarily just his legs. Ryan Otterson over here is gonna be doing the perfect squat with the dumbbells to the sides. So as he goes down, same movement pattern, except for there's no chair. He's pressing his hips back. He's pushing through the legs. The knees are going forward just a little bit, but not completely over his toes. So that's a way to make sure that we're keeping the torque off the knees, keeping the hips and knees happy, and throwing some resistance in addition to it. Okay, the room has magically got brighter, okay? Exercise number three, we have push-ups. Camilla's gonna be doing a, a counter push-up, so you can go to your kitchen counter. The main thing with all push-ups is making sure that your hips are in alignment with your shoulders. Notice both, all three versions, their hips stay in alignment. So Camilla's pushing into her, her heels are coming off the floor, she's pushing into her toes. Hands are gonna be a little bit wider than the shoulder uh, width apart, and then their elbows are going at a 45 degree angle. Ryan Solberg's going from the knees, okay? So it's a moderate, moderate version. And then Ryan Otterson is going all the way from the toes. So he, this is much harder for him than it is for the other two, but do the version that works best for you. Okay, next exercise is bird dogs. Now we're doing a core exercise, core stabilization. Camilla's gonna be raising her opposite arm, opposite leg, trying to make sure that these intrinsic core muscles are engaged and stabilizing the trunk. Ryan Solberg is doing a modified bird dog on the floor. So notice his hand and opposite knee are coming off the ground, forcing the, that trunk to stabilize. And then Ryan Otterson is fully extending the arm and leg. So he's gonna get a little bit more engagement in terms of his trunk, but he's also flexing the shoulder a little bit, core's engaged as well as engaging the glute of whatever leg is being elevated. So if, if the exercise that you're doing is say eight repetitions, I would do four on each side, eight all together, holding each one for about five seconds. All right, exercise number five, back lunges. So Camilla is gonna be holding onto her kitchen counter and she's just doing a simple step back. The purpose of this exercise is to engage the glute of the leg that's not moving, okay? So Camilla's engaging the left glute, same thing with Ryan. So, but the version that he's doing is this, we're visualizing that he's standing by the wall because anytime you do a back lunge, you're gonna notice how much it challenges your balance, okay, and your core stabilization. So he's standing by the wall, but just using his own body weight. And then Ryan Otterson over here is throwing in some resistance. But all versions of these back lunges is they're pressing through this front heel, okay, to engage the glute of the non-moving leg. Okay, we are halfway through the exercises. Okay, exercise number six, we are doing a lat row. Okay, a pulling exercise. Camilla is making sure that with every repetition she is squeezing the shoulder blade, holding onto her kitchen counter, using either a dumbbell or a can of beans or a milk jug. Ryan Solberg is doing another modification of this exercise, which is squeezing the shoulder blades using tubing wrapped around a post or anything that you have at home, but working both sides of the back at the same time. And Ryan Otterson is getting down low, 
making sure that the back is flat, the core is engaged, resting his right arm on his right leg as he's working the left side of his, of his body, engaging the left lat, squeezing the shoulder blade with every single repetition. Okay, exercise number seven, we're doing some hip abduction. So we're working on lateral movements. So Camilla's doing a version where she's standing, keeping this toe turned in, leading with her heel so that this abductor and glute are engaged. Ryan Solberg is using tubing and stepping side to side, but the same principle, whatever direction he's going, he's turning in that toe and leading with the heel, but just stepping side to side. Ryan Otterson is doing a version where he's lying on his side, but he's going quick on the way up, slow on the way down, keeping this toe turned in, leading with the heel up towards the ceiling. All versions are engaging those abductors and engaging the glutes. Vital for lateral movements. Okay, exercise number eight. Camilla is gonna be doing some shoulder front raises, okay? So with this, she's focusing on the anterior part of her shoulders, okay? Going all the way up just to shoulder height and slow on the way down. Ryan Solberg is using tubes, but these can also be used with dumbbells. He's doing a side lateral raise, so he's working more of the medial part of his deltoids, okay? Going just to shoulder height, then once again, slow on the way down, then right back up again. Ryan Otterson is doing what we call shoulder squares, where it's almost a combination between the two, where he's doing a side lateral raise, going out in front, then slow on the way down, then right back up again, okay? Then all the way down. Now, if you are free of any shoulder issues, don't have any rotator cuff or shoulder impingement, impingement he can also do a standard shoulder press, okay? Single arm or double arm. And you can also smile too, it's okay. <laughs> Very good, okay. All right, exercise number nine. We're gonna be doing some bicep curls. Three variations of the bicep curl. Camilla is using tubing, but she can also do this with dumbbells. We're just doing a standard bicep curl. Elbows are locked into the sides. She's only moving from her elbow down to the handles, okay? From the elbow up to the shoulder, remains stationary. Ryan Solberg is doing another version of this, but he's throwing in a balance component. So notice how he has his weight shifted onto his left leg, okay? If this version is too easy, he can completely suspend the foot to add a little bit of core stabilization and balance um, as he does the standard bicep curl as well. Ryan Otterson is doing a variation where his resting side is staying at 90 degrees. So what happens is, is the muscle stays under tension for a longer period of time, okay? But once he gets done with that side, he's gonna hold it. So the resting side still stays at 90 degrees, okay? And then same thing, he keeps his elbow locked into his side, going all the way up and slow on the way down. So you'll get more bang for your bicep buck. All right, exercise number 10 is we are doing three versions of a plank. So the purpose of the plank is an isometric core exercise, meaning the abdominal muscles are not lengthening or shortening, but they're still engaged and they're contracting, okay? So Camilla over here is doing a variation where she's using her kitchen counter, putting her arms at 90 degrees with her elbows at the corner. So she's using some towels to uh, kind of make it so it's not bothering her, her elbows. So you can use pillows or any type of a soft cushion to do this exercise. But she's keeping her shoulders, her hips and her knees in alignment, drawn in her belly button, keeping the core muscles engaged. If you feel any pain in the lower back, make sure you bring the hips up, but also make sure that your elbows are directly under your shoulders, okay? Ryan Solberg is doing a variation on the floor, but he's on his knees, same principle. His elbows are under his shoulders, shoulders in alignment with the hips, bring his body weight forward so that he's contracting his abdominals down here and making sure that his lower back is relaxed and not being engaged. And then the last version is from the toes. Ryan Arson, taking a look at the angle, back is flat. Shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, forming a nice straight line. Okay, gastrocnemius exercise number 11. I'm trying to get them to smile, and it looks like I'm 0 for 3. Okay, all right, so we're doing calf raises. Camilla is doing both feet on the floor, 
Okay, pressing into her big toes. And then as she comes up, she's contracting these calf muscles. Okay, and slow on the way down. Ryan Soberg is doing a variation where he's gonna get a little bit more extension because his feet are higher up so he can drop his heel down lower because his toes are up on a step. But same principle, okay, pressing into those big toes. And then Ryan Otterson is doing a version where it's single leg. So he's working just one calf at a time, either from the floor. We can also do a variation where he can do the same thing, just like Ryan Soberg, where his heel is going to hang over the step and then pressing all the way into that big toe, coming up, contracting the calf muscle. Last but not least, exercise number 12. We're working on triceps. Camilla is doing a variation where she's doing a narrow push-up. So what makes these different from regular push-ups is her hands are really in and she's having her elbow scrape along her side so it becomes a very tricep dominant movement. Okay, keeping the body straight, pressing all the way up, engaging the triceps. Ryan Solberg over here is using tubing and doing a tricep uh, pull down where he's keeping the elbow stationary okay, and engaging the tricep from there to there. Okay. There's also a variation where he can use a dumbbell and do a tricep kickback. Okay. Same principle, just doing single arm, but the elbow stays in the same spot. And so the movement is only going to 90 degrees, come all the way up, then slow on the way down so that that long head of that tricep is activated. And then Ryan Otterson is doing an overhead tricep extension. So He's keeping the elbow up, using his opposite hand to help keep the arm stationary. He's keeping that dumbbell in alignment with the elbow and keeping the elbow in so that it doesn't come out. So it keeps the tricep actively engaged. Okay, going all the way up, then slow on the way down. This, uh, this exercise can also be performed uh, using tubing as well, but we seem to have a better outcome using uh, a dumbbell. Okay, our workout is completed. Now we're gonna do some static stretching to cool down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold on to the chairs with both hands. We're gonna bring one foot back. Okay, you're gonna keep your weight over that front foot and then press the back heel down to the floor to feel the stretch in the calf muscle, muscle of the leg that's back. Okay, and if you wanna do an optional hip flexor stretch, you can bring the hand of the leg that's back up into the air. Feel that stretch in the hip flexor. Okay, and the psoas. Ryan Otterson, point to where your hip flexor and psoas is at. Ah, okay, very good. Okay, and then we're gonna switch legs. Doing the same thing on the other side. You, you can either keep this just as a calf stretch, or if you wanna combine the two, you can do the calf and the hip flexor, so totally optional. All right. And once we finish with that, we're gonna come out of that position. We're gonna have a seat in the chair. We're gonna sit forward in the chair. Okay, we're gonna sit way forward and bring either the right or left leg extended. It doesn't matter which one you do because you're just gonna be doing the other side. The leg's gonna be straight. Toe is gonna to be pointing up towards the ceiling, hands on the bent leg. You're gonna sit up nice and tall in the chair, back is flat. Shoulders are pulled back, and then you're gonna take a big deep breath in, and then exhale as you hinge forward from the hip, so that you feel a nice, lovely sensation as you feel the stretch in the back side of the extended leg. Now, ideally, we want you to hold every stretch for at least 30 seconds, but for time purposes, we're just gonna be holding it for a little bit less than that. Okay, let's switch sides. Other leg extended, sitting up tall, shoulders are pulled back, deep breath in, exhale as you hinge forward from the hip, keeping that toe pulled in, leg is straight, back is flat. Very good. And we're gonna pretend that was 30 seconds. Now we're gonna take left ankle on top of the opposite knee, okay? We call it the figure four stretch. And sit up nice and tall in your chair. And so we're trying to engage the hip of the leg that is elevated. Okay, you're gonna sit up nice and tall. And how you increase the tension on the stretch is not by pressing your knee down, it's by hinging from the hip. So the further you hinge forward, the more of a stretch you're gonna get in that hip. 
Okay, so do a variation that works for you. I always like to tell people that on a scale of one to 10, you should be about a six. So you should be uncomfortable, but it should not be excruciating pain. Okay, now let's do the other side. Sitting up tall. Okay, and then it's hinging forward or you can remain upright, whatever version works for you. Okay. If you feel any tension in your knee by just being in that position, you can pull your toe in and sometimes that can help to alleviate any tension that you have uh, off of that elevated knee as well. All right, let's put that leg down. Okay, now you're gonna bring the hands together. You're gonna reach forwards. We're gonna do a little bit of a protraction where we're trying to keep the shoulders down, the neck is relaxed, and you're gonna push your spine to the back wall behind you, reaching forwards. Okay, it's like, it's like you're trying to separate your shoulder blades. So you bring the shoulder blades apart, stretching that upper back. And now we're gonna bring those hands all the way up, 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 up towards the ceiling. Pretend someone's grabbing you by your wrist and it's gonna pull you up towards the ceiling. So we're reaching all the way up. Feeling that stretch in your shoulders. And then you're gonna break the grip and slowly drop the elbows down. Open up the chest. And then you're gonna bring the hands behind your back like you're gonna handcuff yourself. Now we're doing the opposite stretch. We're gonna open up the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and pull the shoulders back. We're gonna pretend that was 30 seconds, and then you're gonna slowly release the grip. Let the arms hang down. You're gonna roll the shoulders back. Okay, four or five shoulder rolls going back. And then we're gonna let the arms hang down. Okay, we're gonna stretch that lower back. And just to do a little tried and true tradition that we have here at the Livewell Center, this is totally optional, but if you wanna do a breathing exercise, we're gonna take a big deep breath in through the nose and bring those hands all the way up towards the ceiling, breathing in through the nose, exhale through the mouth on the way down. We're gonna do this two more times. Big deep breath in all the way up. Exhale on the way down, last one. And very good. Ladies and gentlemen, give yourself a pat on the back. He made it through a workout.